Nano Banana just got 10 times better. And although it was already the king of AI image editing tools, it just got a few upgrades that made it so much more powerful for power users and for day-to-day -day business applications. In this video, I'll cover the four main upgrades that Nano Banana Pro got from the previous Nano Banana version. And I'll show you how I access and use it in order to get the most out of this video. One of the things that I'm most excited about is that I am able to get 4K resolution out of my images. So I'm able to get high quality AI shots that I can use for my business. I know your time is valuable, so you here are the four things we'll talk about. First is the upgrade that text now looks better and is more accurate and doesn't have these weird spelling mistakes anymore. The second thing that makes this new model so much more powerful is that Nano Banana Pro is based on Google's Gemini 3 model. This means that it can reason through more complex prompts that you give it and has real-time data and access to the web in order to research images before it creates them for you. And I'll show you an example of how you can use that in just a second. The third major upgrade is that you have studio level control. For example, you can resize the aspect ratios to your images without losing any of the resolution. And you can do things like controlling the depth of field if you're going for a photorealistic photography shot. And the fourth major upgrade that I'm most excited about is the quality. You can upscale your images with precision from 1K resolution to 2K all the way up to 4K image resolution. This is a game changer if you're in the media industry or you want to use any of your shots commercially without them looking blurry or without you having to go through third-party upscalers in order to get high quality shots. And as a bonus, the subject consistency also got so much better. Previously with Nano Banana 2, this has already been really fantastic with two or three subject images. But now with Nano Banana Pro, you can upload up to 15 different reference images and get the character consistently spot on. Check out this example that Google gave us. They've uploaded these 15 reference images and gave it this prompt. The output image is spot on where it uses all of these reference images and creates a 3D animation shot of them all watching TV. This is super powerful if you're using Nano Banana Pro for things like photo shoots or product photography shots. Another Another example here shows how you can showcase different products, for example, this dress, this chair, these plants, and this image, and have them all be included in one shot. Or if you want to include different characters all in the same image. This makes image editing easier than ever because previously you would have had to do this sequentially. Now you can do it all in one go. An example of generating great text is by uploading this reference image and asking for a whole storyboard for the scene. Look how great the storyboard turned out. Another example of showcasing the power of the new text generator is this following phrase. The prompt is, create an image showing the phrase, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a wood <laughs> if a woodchuck could chuck wood, but it's made out of wood chucked by a woodchuck. And you can see how great this turned out. The text is correct, and even the texture of the wood looks super realistic. Here's another example of great text generation, different typographies, and you can even create your own fonts from scratch. Here's uh, an example of the real world knowledge. And we will test this out by annotating our own images that we took. And I'll show you how you can create an infographic on the go to impress your friends. You can create infographics like this. You can create cooking instructions like that, or or complex physics explanations. The text that you're generating works in different languages, so you can not only create things in English, but also in Korean, Japanese, and any of the top 20 world languages. Here's an example of translating your product design into Korean, or to Spanish, or to Japanese. You can zoom in and out of shots with character consistency, and you can play with color and lighting. For example, turning a daytime scene into a nighttime scene, or brightening up images with different bokeh effects. I'll leave timestamps below so you can skip ahead to the different sections, but let me create some examples to showcase the power of this tool. I'll share with you how you can access Nano Banana Pro for free and how you can get the most out of Nano Banana Pro by using it through a third party called Artlist, which is what I'm using in order to get the granular control over the aspect ratio as well as the resolution and where you get a few more tools that make it more powerful than just using it out of the box with Gemini. The first way to get access to it is by going to gemini.google.com. Within this, once you click on create image, you can describe anything. For example, create an image of a unicorn riding a unicycle on the moon and click on submit. Quick note, I'm on the pro account, but I believe this is also available for free users. You just have limited image generations. And check this out. This already turned out pretty good. Doesn't look super realistic, but unicorns riding unicycles on the moon aren't really that realistic. I do like, however, that it included the tire tracks as well as the shadow of the subject. One thing to note here is that you're not able to control the aspect ratio or the quality such as 1K, 2K, or 4K of this image. For that, we need to use another tool. You can try to use Nano 
Banana Pro via AIStudio.com. You can see the Nano Banana Pro model right here and you can click on it to get started. However, one important drawback here is that you need to link an API key in order for this to work effectively. You can link your API key here, but you first need to create an API key and set this up with Google Cloud, which is way more work. Because of that, I recommend most people to use a tool called Artlist in order to get access to Nano Banana Pro with all its features and functionalities. They also have a massive discount right now, so click on the link in the description to get 40 or 50% off if you get any of the paid accounts. Once you click on the link in the description, you're being led to artlist.com. They not only have the latest Nano Banana Pro, but they also have AI video models, AI voiceover models, music models, and so much more that is all included with their pro plan. Let's first showcase the upgraded Nano Banana text generation feature. To do that, head over to artlist.com and select the AI image tab right here. Select the Nano Banana Pro model, and for this showcase, we'll select the landscape mode. Let's give it a very difficult prompt to achieve. Let's say, create a picture of the text, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers with pe pickled peppers on a cutting board. I'm gonna select two images and I'm gonna click on generate. You can also upload reference images of fonts or of signs and change the text that is shown on them. For example, if I switch over to image to image and I upload the image of the Hollywood sign, I can now prompt it to, I can swap the text to say, subscribe to Mo Lucre and hit generate. But the model gets even better. You can have multiple steps of image editing all done within the same prompt. For example, instead of just changing the font, let's also change the lighting at the same time. We'll say, swap the text to say subscribe and showcase the sign from a different angle during golden hour with dramatic lighting. And let's hit generate again. And here are the results. Here's the first image, the phrase Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And as you can see, there's no spelling mistakes. The cutting board looks super realistic, the lighting looks great, and you even have some pickled peppers in the jars right next to it. This actually turned out better than I thought it would. Here is the Hollywood sign turned into subscribe to Atmo Luker. By the way, if you haven't done that yet, I have plenty of videos coming out about this tool and other tools like it. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And this turned out great. Even though this phrase has more letters than the original Hollywood sign, it looks very realistic and the font matches the Hollywood sign perfectly. Here's a sign with less letters and this one also turned out great. I reprompted the pickled peppers prompt uh, to have the fruit being laid out on the cutting board and check this out. This looks fantastic and I'm actually really impressed that it was able to do all of this. It shows the creativity, the deep thinking, as well as the high quality of image generation that this new model can create. And last but not least, Here's the subscribe button from a different angle with more dramatic lighting during golden hour. It perfectly followed my prompt and I'm super impressed that it's able to do this with just one prompt. Now let's showcase this new model's second biggest strength, which is deep reasoning and real world knowledge. In order to do this, we recently went to the aquarium with our family and I wanted to generate an infographic and we saw a bunch of fish that were looked really cool, but I had no idea what kind of fish they were. So I took a picture of it and I can prompt Nano Banana Pro make an infographic out of this image. Go back to image to Image. I simply upload the image and I'll give it the prompt to first analyze what kind of fish are in the image, then research what kind of fish they are and create a simple infographic of the fish that are in the aquarium and a fun fact about them. For this infographic, let's select the portrait aspect ratio so we can easily share it on Instagram or social media. Now hit generate. Similarly, you can also annotate real world places and overlay text or animations on top of them. This is a creator in Honolulu called Diamond Head. If I want to know fun facts or have cool infographics overlaid on top of this image, I can simply upload this to Artlist and prompt it to research five fun facts and historic facts, for example, the age of this volcano of Diamond Head Crater and overlay them on top of this image to serve as a fun educational showcase of Diamond Head Crater. Hit generate. A few moments later. And here are the results. I regenerated the results a couple times to see if we get different results. This is the first shot, which preserved the original image that I had, and it gave me five fun facts. One, two, three, four, five which are the volcanic type, the original name, as well as historic use and the approximate age. I thought this is a great start. However, it's a bit boring looking. So I retried it again. And this time it gave me something that looks much better where it points towards different parts of the image. For example, the Pacific Ocean, Waikiki, Honolulu, Moltier Fort Use, Crater Rim, it points to it. Interesting, all right. And this is already much better. If I wanted to change the font, I should give it a more detailed uh, instruction on what kind of style to use, but this is already really good. Similarly here, 
here's one more generation of this. And this is also looking really cool. But this time it used a different shot of Diamond Head from a different angle. Here are the infographics that we generated. Here are the fish that it identified to be in the aquarium, as well as a fun fact about them. And after creating it a second time, it gave me a different style. This is looking great, but the only thing that I notice here is that it says that it has the image zero in as part of it. So it's referring back to the image that I uploaded. Now what's beautiful about Artlist is that you can now click on this and upscale the image and boost the image quality by 2x or by 4x in order to get a larger image that you can then use for commercial purposes. Similarly, you can also click on the image and click on animate and use one of their AI video models such as Kling 1.6, Sora 2, VO 3.1 Fast or others in order to use this as in base image for your video creation purposes. This workflow works really well by creating images first and then making videos out of them later on. And I love that they integrated all together within the platform. I've put together this in-depth guide with detailed prompts and instructions on how to get exceptional quality with your AI video and AI image generators. To access that, check the link in the description. You can check out Artlist with the link below and they also have a really good holiday deal going on. So click on that link in order to get that discount. You can also try it out for free on that platform or on the Gemini app. And this model was just released. So I'm currently figuring out how I'm implementing this into my own workflows. So if you want to see more videos on how to use this in order to be more productive or make money, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.